Hello and half a day to you all. My name is Yvonne Camacho and I am an elementary instructional coach from the Division of Curriculum and Instruction. On this presentation, I will be going over the basic introduction to our laptops for our students and parents and how they are to help sanitize and maintain them. So let us begin by knowing that students ages kinder to second grade may receive Chromebooks and students ages third to twelfth grade may receive Lenovo ThinkPad L13 Yoga laptops. Now, chargers with its extension cord will be included to help charge the laptops. For this presentation, we will focus more on Lenovo L13 Yoga. There are four yoga modes for the design features of the Lenovo L13. The first is the notebook mode. It is used like a regular laptop. The next is a tent mode and the stand mode, which are preference to how you want to display the screen. The tablet mode is used like a regular tablet. The mode that will be used the most for your child or you the student will be the regular computer notebook mode, which is shown in picture one of this slide. Now we are looking at the types of port the laptop has. On the left side of your laptop, it has two USB-C ports. The first USB-C is to connect the power cord to the laptop to charge. The second USB-C is used to transmit both data or power on a single cable. The third is a network extension for Ethernet. The fourth is a USB 3.1. And the fifth one is a headphone microphone combo, which connects headphones or headphones with a microphone to the laptop for clear listening and communication when used. On the right side of your laptop has a power button to turn on the laptop. Number seven is a micro SD card reader that is used to transfer images, music, video, and other data between the memory card to the laptop. And number eight is another USB 3.1. Nine is an HDMI that connects the laptop to sending high resolution digital videos, theater quality sound, and control through a single cable. And number 10 is just a lock slot. Computer ports on other types of computers may be set up differently, but the ports all look the same and work the same way. The great thing about these computers are that they have pictures to give you a hint to what the ports are. As you can see where the arrows are pointing to, this is where the laptop speakers are located. This is located at the bottom of the laptop. Other laptops may have its speaker located next to the keyboard or in different places, but you will most definitely be able to hear where the speakers are when you are using it. The tag that you see is the asset number. That identifies which cart or person the laptop is assigned to. When you open up the laptop at the top center of the screen, you will see a small circle. Just like a phone camera, that is the laptop's own camera. Some laptops do have a switch. If the laptop you have has the switch, this switch is able to slide over the camera to give security and privacy for the user. You can tell if it is open or closed by looking at it. If it is open, there is no red dot covering the camera. If it is closed, the camera has a red dot covering it. Right to open, left to close. The air vent of the laptop is located on the bottom base of the laptop. 
It is very important to know that air vent should not be covered or be placed on a dirty or dusty surface. Vents need to stay clean and cleared to stay cool and not overheat. The three buttons on the top you pretty much will not be using. What you'll be using though is a touchpad. As you can see on the screen, the left click zone. When you press that, it will help to select or open an item. On the right click zone, if you press that with two fingers, it will show the shortcut menu. Now we are going to go over the top portion of your keyboard that is closer to your screen of your laptop that says F1 through F12. Those are the keys that are placed there to give you a quick access to your settings that you would end up using regularly. The first one is F1 through F3. Those are your volume control. F1 will give you the mute button when you press that. F2 will lower your volume. F3 will increase your volume. And F4 will control if your microphone is on or off. F5 and F6 are your light display. If you press F5, it will go darker. If you press F6, it will go brighter. Now F7 will manage your external display. F8 enables or disables your built-in wireless features. F9 opens your window settings. F10 will enable or disable your built-in Bluetooth features. F11 opens your keyboard setting page. And F12 creates or assigns a fast connection with that key. So you will have to assign that. This is your laptop screen. It has the same function as a tablet. Now taking care of your laptop. Now you will be needing to sanitize your laptop for every use. It is recommended to use a microfiber towel or cloth and alcohol. Make sure that the microfiber towel or cloth is not too wet but moist enough that when you test it on a clean table that the alcohol will immediately evaporate as soon as you wipe it on the table. Wipe keyboards and touchscreen. Make sure that you wipe areas that are located just along the outer layer and not pushed into the holes where the cloth may get stuck. Wipe outer base, sides, and the top of your laptop. When using the laptop on the table, make sure that the laptop is placed away from the edge to prevent any accidents from happening. The picture shows examples of where not to place the laptops and where is a good place that would be to put it when using it. A recommended way of handling the laptop is by having your laptop closed and holding it securely by your side for the older kids or having the younger kids wrap their arms around the laptop in a tight hug when carrying it from one place to another in your house. But it would be best to have an older person carry it for the younger child. You want to make sure that you're consciously aware of preventing accidents from happening, so please avoid carrying laptops with only one hand on the base or by the screen when moving laptops short or long distances. To handle power cords, neatly wrap cord. Do not force wires to go on different directions. That could cause wires in the inside to loosen and break after many uses. Just for your information, the power cord has its own power box to protect from power fluctuations. For any technical problems or issues with getting into your class or your child's class, please contact your school or teacher. Thank you for your patience and understanding while we transition into our online classes. Any further questions left after this presentation, please email me at ypgcamacho 
at gboe.net. Thank you and stay safe.